Hey guys, APAF5 here, and welcome to something that you probably think looks kind of weird, is uh, I am going to show you some of my old channel art, I don't know what it's called, stuff that's been on my channel that's changed throughout the years of me having a YouTube channel. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because there has been another slight change, you've probably noticed it already, but um, every time I change the header or the profile picture I make like a update kind of video and back when I originally did this I used to always edit on my iPad so those update videos are very stupid um, and I also made my original profile pictures using my iPad so let's just get into this this was the first one I made and I basically had a picture of um, me on like that World War II ship that I actually did a video on a year after I made this icon but all I did was get clip art from Google and I used my iPad and I just spliced everything over this picture of an old iMac I had from when I went to Iowa and I just got these photos off the internet then I decided I changed my profile or my background photo on the old YouTube layout where you could have backgrounds to a MW2 background that was like pre-made and looked pretty cool so I made a modern warfare profile picture and I tried to find the same icons I think I did use the same icons except for this one uh, it was actually a PNG file with the background cut out of it so that looks cooler I guess uh, I used this one for a while because this was when we were doing the next gen modern warfare series which is kind of ridiculous I have a whole sort of description on that in my uh, live action playlist I have like a description on why we made those videos but uh yeah this was something I hung on to for a while and I didn't want to change it because I hate change so a lot of these changes you might think are really ridiculous then I, when I got into gaming I'm like I want to have sort of just a PlayStation inspired profile picture so then I changed it to this which was a higher resolution too and again I just got a bunch of pictures from uh, Google images and I, I forget where I got this V I think I, it was from Bully but I'm not completely sure and it left these white boxes around it but that that was sort of the style for my original profile pictures because I always made them using the same application then I sort of wanted to come up with my own emblem, my own sort of thing. But again, this was when I was 14 and still didn't know too much about social media, let alone photo editing software. And I made this, which I've been using now for like four years or something. And it looks ridiculous, like a 11-year-old made it or even younger, probably a six-year-old made it. Because nowadays, you know, people do arts and no arts and I'm not even speaking English properly so that you can tell is my skills in the arts of whatever anyways I didn't even I didn't know how to chop out the 5 for the GTA 5 and I think this was before GTA 5 was released I just stuck it on there because I thought it looked cool and again I kept this PlayStation logo because I thought that was pretty cool I liked that for some reason for the P and APAV and then I just got this generic A in this. And then this circle was actually a clip art circle that I got off Google Images. And then a red square. And also a white A because I didn't have like any text editors or anything. So that's where this came from. And this is what I've been sticking with for a really long time. Because, I don't know, it sort of became my logo type thing. Um, I could have just removed this. And probably just made this my logo but then it would have looked very generic now this was a custom background I made um, back when you can do backgrounds and it looks kind of silly now because it's just a bunch of photos that I either made for videos or took off the internet or I'd made in the past this one's still on my channel I I like that one for some reason but um, I don't even know where I was going with my catchphrase over here but this was my first custom background. I always had to use pre-made ones because I never could find a correct template for the backgrounds. And then, 
YouTube one or the channel one lo layout or whatever took over YouTube and that's sort of what currently is now and we all had to make headers because before only partnered people could have cha channel like header things up at the top but now everyone gets that and that's like the only art you can put on your channel besides the profile picture and I made this this is um a picture that Sabri made me and then this was a profile picture that I put together that you'll see in a minute. Uh, this was sort of going to be my generic logo because I thought that looked way more professional. Um, this was probably when I was 16 and also this picture. So th this was sort of me just, I, I sort of threw this together real fast because I was just upset at YouTube for taking away the backgrounds and I'm like, it, no one really had a professional looking thing at the top of their channel so th this like this will do for now and I hung on to it for a while um, now now everyone has ones that sort of fade in together so it looks better not not like these three things don't look good it's that they don't merge into each other like now everyone just has a single picture that looks all flowy instead of just red and then white and then blue but I don't know I guess straight lines is my new style that you already saw this this is what I made to sort of replace my current profile picture but I didn't think it looked good enough so I never used it really for anything I think it's um on the outro though and then I did this this was probably a year and a half after I started messing with all the channel art or whatever it's called I don't like calling it art because my stuff isn't really art but this is what was going to replace everything it's my new twitter profile picture i really like how it looks i think it like the um the shading here and just the colors and everything work a lot better than this and um i liked how it looked but i was too afraid to put it as my profile picture and on twitter and on youtube so instead i worked hard and by hard i mean for like an hour on gimp and um, I was able to color out the black uh, square that was around here. Like I cropped it out and then filled it in with red and then tried to color out the rest of the blue circle and make it as circular as possible. And that's what it was currently for a while. And at the same time, the same time I made this one and this one, I also made this header, which was the one I had when I got partnered with TGN and I made this little circle at symbol with APAV in it and everything else was the same but I like this better because it wasn't like reusing this symbol twice so that's why I did this but then Leah or Pickle Kitten is her channel name um, did me a favor and she made this, which is the new profile picture, and you can see it right now, and it's so freaking awesome. Um, I, I sort of bugged her for a while about this, because, um, like, I was fine with however long it would take to make it, but I, I sort of wanted it to be my style, so, like, I, I was kind of picky on, like, the coloring and, like, how the eyes were shaped and stuff, but, um yeah i I'm, I'm sorry for that but it it came out awesome and i'm so happy and yeah that that's the new thing and it looks a lot better than just my generic here's some text over some colors and i hope it looks good in that tiny little square you have to see it in so what i did was i went on gip and i didn't want to bug leah more so i didn't ask her to just give me this layer of me standing here I went on gip and like cut it out with that cut tool where you have to click and click and click and click around everything and I put it on the header along with another uh, thing Sabri drew me and um, that 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 was also awesome that was it like a year or two ago when I saw that and that was so freaking cool when I saw that and um, as you can tell, I cut out myself and put myself over there. And then I had to remake this, which actually took me like three hours because um, I'm horrible at 
art, unlike Sabri and Leah here. But that's my channel up to date. Um, yeah, I think I just like how it looks now. But also, some really good news is back when YouTube merged us with Google Plus, I had a lot of channel name problems. And what ended up happening was, instead of being able to make like I already had a Google Plus account because I thought it was semi interesting and I didn't think it was going to take over YouTube so I just made a Google Plus account to see what it was like and I used to post on there like just random stuff that had had nothing to do with videos I think I actually made a Google Plus account before I made my Twitter but then when they merged it it was telling me I would have to make a Google Plus page instead of use a normal profile account or something and it really confused me, and I didn't want to make a separate page for my channel. So what I ended up doing was merging my YouTube channel into my Google Plus um, main page. But in order to do that, I had to have a first and a second name. So what I did was I made the second name a period. And that's why for like two years, my channel name was APAP5 with a period at the end of it. And I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to make it a single name without messing up my Google Plus account, which now I don't care about my Google Plus account. So I went to change it back just like a few days ago. And when I went to change my username, Google Plus now isn't supposed to allow you to have a period at a, as a last name, I think. So what happened was when I went to change the name, the period just disappeared and I clicked OK. And now my profile um, name, I'm not sure if I've been saying picture this whole time, my profile name doesn't have a period at the end of it. I mean, this whole time you could tell if I was the legit account by clicking on the URL and it says APAV5 because my channel has been around for a while where back in the day your URL actually used to have your username in it. So that's how you know I'm the legit APAV5. But um, yeah, that was that was a big hassle, but now my, my channel doesn't look like a fake account anymore. It actually just says APAV5. It might show APAV5 period if you search it, and I can't tell if that's because YouTube's still processing it or if it's just going to be stuck like that unless I make a Google Plus page specifically for my channel and name it after a business and call it APAV5. But anyways, that was a whole lot of rambling, and this is just a random update video telling you my, my channel doesn't look like it was made by a five-year-old anymore. And I, I don't quite like change, as you can tell. We kept the same sort of A here, so people would know it's the A, and I didn't change this around too much. But I, I'm, I'm happy about the, uh, I don't know, not new look, but ex expandation of the look. I'm making up words now. Let's go back to uh, the original profile picture and laugh at it. That's my stupid face when I was like 12 and had braces, but you can't see the braces because this picture is in the lowest resolution possible. Uh, oh, one thing I didn't, didn't mention about this thing. The reason it's surrounded by black is because I can't for the life of me figure out how to get the correct resolution. If you just do this resolution here and like post it, for some reason, YouTube has a really hard time recognizing that you just want this as your header, and it zooms really close in onto it. So what I did was I surrounded them by black borders in, like, really large resolutions. I think they give you the resolution or something, but whatever, that's chaos. And I hope my audio didn't go crinkly while I've been talking. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll get a video up by Monday, because I, d I don't like having update videos, it's just my Monday video. Also, I've been working on playthroughs, which I've been working on playthroughs for like six months, but I'm working more on like multiple playthroughs, so hopefully I'll get one up within the year.